Ever heard of an electric car graveyard? Get ready to unravel the mysteries of China's abandoned EVs, the environmental puzzle, and a twist that could redefine the future of electric transportation. Picture this eerie scene on the outskirts of Hangzhou, China. A previously run-down temple overlooks a sprawling graveyard filled with hundreds of abandoned electric cars. Some have been there so long that plants are sprouting from their trunks, while others still have fluffy toys sitting on their dashboards. But Hangzhou isn't the only city facing this strange phenomenon. It's spreading like wildfire across China. A decade ago, China's government, driven by subsidies, ignited an electric car boom that sent the automotive industry into a frenzy. Established giants and ambitious startups plunged headfirst into electric vehicle manufacturing. However, these early electric vehicles were, to put it mildly, quite basic, with batteries that barely covered 62 miles on a single charge. So, who was buying these cars? Many of them ended up on the fleets of ride-hailing companies, which then leased them to drivers. Private customers were hesitant to embrace electric cars during this early stage. While this demand catapulted China to the forefront of the electric car industry, it also left behind a trail of losses. As the electric vehicle market expanded, ride-hailing companies that were early adopters of electric vehicles faced fierce competition and struggled to keep up with rapid advancements in technology. Many of them have since gone out of business. Today, there are around 100 Chinese electric car makers, a significant drop from the roughly 500 in 2019. These electric car graveyards are a somber reminder of the rapid consolidation that's taken place in the industry. Beyond the bizarre appearance of these abandoned electric cars, there are serious environmental implications. First and foremost, they're an eyesore and a waste of resources. But the real issue is that disposing of these vehicles so quickly diminishes their climate benefits. Electric cars are more emissions intensive to build than traditional combustion engine cars. They only start producing net environmental advantage after a few years of use. Additionally, each abandoned electric vehicle contains valuable materials within its spent batteries, including nickel, lithium, and cobalt. These metals could be recycled to make China's electric vehicle industry more environmentally friendly. So not only are these graveyards an environmental eyesore, but they're also representing a missed opportunity for sustainability. The government played a significant role in the rise of China's electric car industry. In the late 2000s, they offered hefty rebates for electric vehicle purchases and imposed restrictions on gasoline cars in major cities. Automakers jumped on board and founded or backed ride-hailing startups, which in turn stocked their fleets with electric vehicles. This approach was a crucial driver of electric vehicle adoption in China. However, it led to some unintended consequences. As the electric vehicle market grew, some companies started ride-hailing services as a way to absorb their growing inventories of electric vehicles that weren't selling to the public. This practice raised questions about the sustainability of the industry. Moreover, there were instances of subsidy fraud, where companies falsified records for non-existent electric vehicles to claim government subsidies. This fraudulent activity amounted to billions of yuan, which had to be addressed by the government. In 2019, the Chinese government made a significant policy shift by drastically reducing national subsidies for electric vehicle purchases. This caught many ride-hailing companies off guard and severely affected their cash flow. As a result, several of them couldn't weather the storm and went out of business. Fast forward to today and we find abandoned electric cars scattered across cities like Hangzhou serving as a particular testament to the rapid progress in electric transportation over the last decade. But there's more to the story. Local media reports suggest that the government of Hangzhou has pledged to dispose of these abandoned vehicles. However, what if these electric cars could be given a second life? Their spent batteries, packed with precious materials, could be recycled and reused, making China's electric vehicle industry more sustainable. So what does all of this mean for the future of electric transportation in China? 
the adoption of electric vehicles by taxi companies and fleet operators served as a crucial step in educating consumers about the benefits of electric cars. This, in turn, motivated manufacturers to invest in electric vehicle-related technologies even before a strong consumer market emerged. While the site of these electric car graveyards represents the past of China's new energy vehicle market, it might not fully reflect its future. The electric vehicle landscape is evolving, and the lessons learned from this phase could lead to more sustainable practices in the industry. To sum it all up, the electric car graveyard phenomenon in China is a stark reminder of the rapid rise and consolidation of the electric vehicle industry. It highlights the challenges and environmental implications of this growth, but also the potential for recycling and reusing valuable materials. As China's electric vehicle market evolves, the lessons from this chapter may lead to more sustainable and responsible practices in the industry, ensuring a brighter future for electric transportation. Can these abandoned cars and their precious batteries find a second life? Share your insights in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Futuristic Tech and AI for more tech-savvy content. Stay secure and happy browsing!